Bikes upside down. Joe, hello, yoo-hoo. Wanna play? Hey, I got it. Cargo war! <laughs> Wishbone, knock it off. I'm busy. Can I help? Wishbone, get away! You'll scratch it. Mm. Gotta be something I can do to get his. Oh, I know. Joe, how about the squeaky? Bleh. You love. The squeaky, huh, buddy? That... Wishbone, get away! Your obsession with this possession has gone too far! <gasps> David, Samantha! Wanna run? Wanna play? Wanna watch paint dry? I'll do anything. Hey, Joe, there's a pickup roller hockey game today. Nah, I'll pass. Well, we could do something else together if you want. I was planning to test my new bike on the trails at Jackson Park. It's a trail hound. Cool, huh? Yeah. Pal, that must have cost you a fortune. Are you kidding? I spent months earning every penny. Which he counted every night while I chewed on old bones, rationed dog food, and discount doggy dumplings. You have been pretty busy lately. Yeah, we haven't seen you much outside of school. Joe reminds me of a miser in early 19th century England who didn't have a life beyond his work and his gold. The story of Silas Marner was written in 1861 by George Eliot, who was really a lady named Marianne Evans. Silas Marner was a linen weaver who lived alone outside the English village of Ravala. Silas Marner just walked by with more linen. He's never crossed the threshold of my inn. He's a ghost with a roll of linen on his back. <laughs> Hush, Ben. Uh, poor man works hard. Oh, you know, I doubt he's poor for all he works. I hear he has gold hidden somewhere about his cottage. I warmed myself at Marner's hearth once. <laughs> Saw no sign of riches. <laughs> Even if old Marner's hit a purse, he hasn't as much gold as the Cass family. I can't believe it. You sold the horse and gambled away father's money. He'd be furious. Don't worry, brother. I'll get the money. One way or another. Either way, what good's money without friends? Here, here. Silas kept to himself, working constantly to earn more and more gold coins, which he counted daily. Ah. Mm. <laughs> ah. ah, my gold, my pretty coins. One, two, three. <laughs> You're gonna rub the paint off if you're not careful. Hi, Sam. Hi, David. Hi, Mrs. Talbot. Haven't seen you guys around lately. Uh, hey, the bike looks great, Joe. Wish we could say the same for Wishbone. You can say that again. Have you fed him? What? Say it again, Ellen. Have you fed him? Oh, I will after I get back. 
Wishbone looks kind of sad, poor yeah, fella. Yeah, it's me. Bet he hasn't had much fun this week. Mm -hmm. Stuck in the house every day. Yeah. I bet he'd love to go for a walk. <gasps> yes! Someone noticed. Can you take him, Mom? We were just about to ride our bikes to Jackson Park. Hmm, trail hound, huh? Guess I've been replaced as lead dog in Joe's pack. Well, Runt's always the first to go. I can't. I have some work to do myself. Just let him run alongside and take the leash just in case. Oh, Mom. Joe, walk him on foot or next to the bike. Your choice. Oh, all right. I'll run him next to the bike. Thanks. Yes! Now we're talking! <laughs> now we're walking. Oh, I've got a cramp. I'm sorry, Wishbone can't keep up. Some of us aren't equipped with knobby tires and 18 gears. That's okay. We don't have to race every trail. Yeah, Joe, I mean, take a little time to smell the flowers. A trail hound's made for taking jumps. I didn't buy a bike like this to walk the dog. Now stay here. We'll pick you up on our way home. What? Should we leave him here alone? We'll be okay. Besides, we won't be gone long. Look at Joe. I. David? Sam? Anybody? What the? Hmm. <laughs> Nothing stopping me from smelling the flowers. Hmm. Fritz has been here. Snooty dachshund. They'll let anyone in a public park these days. What are you gonna do? <sighs> oh, hey! <gasps> Sparky! What's shaking, pal? Got a rabbit spotted, huh? I'll take that as a yes. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, I'll be right with you. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Ah, Sparky, you think you could sneak a little lower? The old bird's gone. Hmm. That's odd. No dust there. for a hot meal. But first, I'll count my gold. <gasps> what? My gold? It's gone! <laughs> my gold! <sighs> my gold! It's gone! Which of you has taken my gold? Here now, Mara. What's all this about gold? And accusations of thievery. Someone's stolen all my coins this very evening. It was probably you, Jem Rodney. I wondered why you lingered so round my heart the fortnight ago. Give it back now, and I'll say no more. You're daft, Silas Marner. I've been right here the whole evening. Yeah, that he has. I... I apologize, Jem. I'd no right to accuse you. No harm done. Surely you've a right to be distraught, Mr. Marner. Tis a grave loss you've suffered. <laughs> 